Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the press conference for the announcement of the Shaw Laureates 2023. I'm Master Chen, and it's my honor to be your MC of the day. 大家好,非常欢迎大家莅临我们今天的新闻发布会。我是陈志坚,今天的主持人。大家好,欢迎大家莅临我们今天的新闻发布会。我是陈志坚。2023 marks the 20th anniversary of the Shaw Prize. This significant milestone is a testament to the Shaw Prize Foundation's unwavering commitment to recognizing the outstanding achievements in scientific researches and applications following the vision laid by its founder, the late Mr. Run Run Shaw. 2023年是邵逸夫长第二十年的办法 before we announce the 2023 Shaw Laureates, let's take a moment to reflect on the 20-year development of the Shaw Prize. The Shaw Prize has now been formally established and work has begun. Tonight, at this first ceremony, we are here to witness the beginning of the annual award of Shaw Prizes, which will surely become one of the great permanent institutions in the history of mankind. This award to me will give enormous pleasure to all people, medical people, working in public health throughout the world. Humanity's understanding of the cosmos is one of the most amazing and profound accomplishments of the human mind. The Shaw Foundation has chosen to recognize mathematical achievement alongside more practical scientific disciplines. And I am truly honored to accept the award in this field. We would like to take this opportunity to thank all the members of the press to be a part of this journey. And we are grateful for your ongoing support. Now let's welcome our speakers to the stage. May I now invite Professor Kenneth Young. 首先我們有請楊剛凱教授,有請楊剛海教授。May I now invite Professor Park Chung-Ching, 請白中教授,陳博中教授。And may I invite Professor Wei Yi Chen, 陳偉儀教授,陳偉儀教授,有請 Professor Young is the chairman of the council as well as the vice chairman of the board of adjudicators. Yang Gong Hai Gao Sao, Hai Xiu Fu Jan Lei Xiu Hui Ju Zi, Yi Ka Ping Sam Hui Fu Ju Zi, 
Professor Ching and Professor Chen are both members of the council. Ching Ba Zhong Jiao Shou and Chen Wei Yi Jiao Shou are both members of the council. To begin, may we call upon Professor Yang to give an opening remark. Professor Yang, please. Now we will have Yang Jiao Shou to welcome us. Please, Yang Jiao Shou. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are pleased to bring to you the Shaw Prize Awards for 2023, which is conducted normally after various special arrangements in the past three years. The Shaw Prize was established in the year 2002 by Mr. Runlan Shaw with the support and help of Mrs. Mona Shaw and is now managed under the Shaw Prize Foundation. The Shaw Prize is awarded annually for distinguished and significant achievements in the three scientific disciplines, namely astronomy, life science and medicine, and mathematical sciences. Each prize consists of a medal, a certificate, and a monetary award of 1.2 million US dollars. The prize was first awarded in 2004, making this year the 20th cycle of the prize. The prize is an international award dedicated to honoring individuals regardless of race, nationality, gender, and religious belief who have achieved significant breakthroughs in academic and scientific research or applications and whose work has resulted in a positive and profound impact on humankind. Recipients of the prize are all internationally acclaimed scholars and scientists. Thanks to the effort of members of the selection committees and colleagues of the foundation, the prize has built up its prestige worldwide within a short period of time. We look forward to greater success of the prize in the years to come. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Professor. And we shall now move on to the announcements. May I now invite our colleagues to please hand out the press releases. 在我們宣佈得獎名單之前,首先有請我們的工作人員將我們的新聞稿以及讚詞可以交給我們所有現場的朋友。Our speakers will announce the laureates and the citations in the order of English, Kutonghua and Cantonese. 三位教授是會以英語、普通話和廣東話同我們公佈各獎項的得獎人以及其讚詞. I will now invite Professor Chen to begin the announcement in English. Professor Chen, please. We first invite Chen Wei Yi Jiao Shou to speak in English. The sole prize in astronomy 2023 is awarded in equal shares to Matthew Bales, Duncan Norima, and Maura McLaughlin for the discovery of fast radio bursts, or FRBs. The sole prize in life science and medicine 2023 is awarded in equal shares to Patrick Kramer and Eva Logalis for pioneering structural biology that enabled visualization at the level of individual atoms of the protein machines responsible for gene transcription, one of life's fundamental process. They revealed the mechanism underlying each step in gene transcription how proper gene transcription promotes health, and how dysregulation causes disease. The sole prize in mathematical sciences 2023 is awarded in equal shares to Vladimir Greenfeld and Sing Tong Yao for their contributions related to mathematical physics, to arithmetic geometry, to differential geometry, and to color geometry. 2023年度邵逸夫天文學獎平均班於馬修貝爾斯、Matthew Bales, Duncan Lorimer, Duncan Lorimer 和莫拉·麥克勞克林、Maura McLaughlin 以表彰他們發現快速電波爆發 2023年度邵逸夫聲明科學與醫學獎 
派特里克·克拉玛 （Patrick Kramer） 和伊瓜·诺加里斯 （Ivan n o g a l e s 以表彰他们开创性的结构生物学研究，使复制基因转录的蛋白质机制能够与单个原子尺度上视觉化。他们揭示了生命生命的基本过程之一的基因转录机制的每一个步骤，正常的基因转录如何促进健康，以及机能失调如何导致疾病。二零二三年度邵逸夫数学科学奖平均颁于弗拉基米尔·德林菲尔德 （Vladimir）。君菲特和邱成桐，以表彰他们对数学物理、酸楚几何、微分几何和凯勒几何的贡献。二零二三年度邵逸夫天文学奖平均颁于马修贝尔斯 （Matthew Bells）、邓肯洛里默。Duncan Lorimer 和莫拉麦克卢克林 （Mora Malavlin） 以表彰他们发现快速电波爆发。二零二三年度邵逸夫生命科学与医学奖平均颁于帕特里克·克拉玛 （Patrick Kramer）。和伊娃·洛加利斯 （Eva l o g a l e s 以表彰他們開創性的結構生物學研究，使負責基因轉錄的蛋白質機制能夠於單個原子尺度上視覺化。他們揭示了生命的基本過程之一的基因轉錄機制的每一個步驟。正常的基因轉錄如何促進健康，以及機能失調如何導致疾病。二零二三年度邵逸夫數學科學獎平均頒於弗拉基米爾、德林費爾德、弗拉德馬、朱恩菲爾和邱成同、星通邱，以表彰他們對數學物理。算術幾何、微分幾何和海納幾何的貢獻。Thank you, professors. To further understand the groundbreaking researches of the 2023 laureates, we have interviewed chairs of the three respective selection committee to explain a little bit more to us. 咁為咗令大家可以更加深入了解我哋得獎人佢哋嘅研究工作，我哋好榮幸可以訪問到三個獎項嘅評審委員會主席，同大家詳細解釋。Let's begin with Professor Scott Tremaine, Chair of the Astronomy Committee. He is Emeritus Professor of the Department of Astrophysical Sciences at Princeton University, USA. 第一個訪問嘅係天文學獎評審主席特里梅恩教授。佢係美國普林斯頓大學天體物理科學系嘅榮休教授。現在讓我們來看一下特里梅恩教授的訪問。What are fast radio bursts? Early philosophers believed that the objects in the heavens, the sun, moon, planets, and stars, were unchanging and eternal. But we now know that a wide range of astronomical objects vary, pulsate, flare, or explode. Among the most dramatic and mysterious of these transients are the fast radio bursts, or FRBs, intense bursts of radio emission that persist for only a few thousandths of a second. That far outshine most other astronomical sources while they last. Some FRBs are so far away that the burst was emitted over a billion years ago, yet it emerges from a region that appears to be smaller than the size of the Earth. How are fast radio bursts discovered? Using the Parkes Radio Telescope in Australia, Matthew Bales, Duncan Lorimer, 
Maura McLaughlin and their collaborators found the first FRB and deduced many of the properties of its source, in particular its extreme distance, small size, and enormous energy. Despite initial skepticism in the astronomical research community, by now over a thousand similar FRBs have been discovered, and the number of discoveries is growing rapidly as new telescopes designed specifically to look for FRBs come online. The sources of FRBs remain unknown, although they're almost certainly associated with neutron stars, collapsed remnants of exploded stars. How important are discoveries of FRB to our study of the universe? Future FRB discoveries, we should be able to probe issues in fundamental physics, such as the validity of Einstein's equivalence principle, possible new forms of exotic matter, the expansion rate of the universe, the origin of intergalactic magnetic fields, and the inventory of normal matter in the universe. Now we'll have Chair of Life Science and Medicine Committee, Professor Bonnie Basler, Squid Professor and Chair of the Department of Molecular Biology at Princeton University, USA. 接著我們將會播放生命科學與醫學獎評審主席巴斯勒教授的訪問片段巴斯勒教授是美國普林斯頓大學分子生物學系主任以及斯貴寶講座教授現在我們一起來看一下巴斯勒教授的影片 What is gene transcription? Three biomolecules are central to all life processes. DNA houses an organism's genetic blueprint, and it contains the information required to produce all of an organism's protein. Proteins endow cells, tissues, and organisms with their forms and capabilities. Messenger RNA is the intermediate molecule that links DNA to proteins. Particular DNA instructions are converted into individual messenger RNA molecules to produce specific proteins by a process called gene transcription. Crucially, gene transcription of specific genes must occur at the correct times and in the correct cellular locations so that the subsets of proteins required for life are only produced when and where they are needed. What are the contributions of the 2023 laureates to this vital process? This year's Shaw Prize recipients, Ava Nogales and Patrick Cromer, pioneered structural biology approaches to enable visualization at the level of the individual atoms of the protein machines responsible for gene transcription. They showed how gene transcription can initiate and proceed and how gene transcription is regulated to enable cells to differentiate so that organisms can properly develop and function. Moreover, they revealed the importance of proper gene transcription to promote health and prevent disease. Indeed, this regulation in gene transcription occurs in cancer and neurological disorders, to name a few. Nogales and Cromer's landmark discoveries drove a paradigm shift in our understanding of one of life's most central processes, gene transcription. Let's listen to Chair of Mathematical Sciences Committee, Professor Elena Eno, Emeritus Einstein Professor at the Free University of Berlin, Germany. What do the 2023 laureates specialize in? Vladimir Drinfeld and Xing Tu Yao share the 2023 show prize in mathematical sciences. They both share an interest for mathematical physics. Drinfeld launched with Bellinson 
the geometric Lang Lens program. Witten, the first physicist ever to receive in 1990 the Fields Medal, is the highest distinction in mathematics, said that this theory has some common features with quantum field theory. However, the geometric Lang Lens program stems from number theory. Yao, on the other side, worked in high energy physics and general relativity. Can you please explain Professor Vladimir Drinfeld's work? Drinfeld invented Stukas. The word comes from the German Stück, which means peace. With them, he solved the arithmetic Langlands program over function field in rank two, for which he was awarded the Fields Medal in 1990. He mentioned later on that he had been inspired by the quarterback de Vries equations in physics. After Laurent Lafogue, following Drillfeld's method, proved the Langlands program for function fields in any rank, Drillfeld solved the Linz conjecture about the existence of compatible L systems in any dimension. In today's Piadic Hot Theory, and in the dream Langlands program over number field, it is expected that Drinfeld's two cars should be a key concept. Moreover, Drinfeld's prismatization leads to a wider understanding of Pat Schultz's prismatic theory. Drinfeld Wartz is a pillar of arithmetic geometry and is essential in all aspects of this vast area. Can you please explain Professor Shin Tung Yao's work? Yao introduced partial differential equation methods in geometric studies. With it, he solved the Calabi Yao conjecture, for which he was awarded the Fields Medal in 1982. He proved the existence of Hermish and Yang Mills connections with Uhlenbeck and the positive mass conjecture with Shun for which they use the theory of minimal surfaces. He introduced rela general relativity in geometry. This led, for example, to Shen Yao's black hole existence theorem and to an intrinsic definition of quasi-local mass in general relativity. Yao contributed to the fusion of geometry and analysis, now known as geometric analysis. Yao's name is attached to essential concepts in mathematics. Yao's work has had a deep and lasting impact on both mathematics and theoretical physics. Thank you, professors, and congratulations again to all laureates. The 2023 Shaw Prize Award Ceremony will be held on the 12th of November. This is our first in-person award ceremony since the pandemic hit, and we are delighted to welcome all laureates from 2020 to 2023 to Hong Kong to receive their awards. So details will be announced in due course. 2023年度小学夫长颁奖典礼将会在今年11月12号举行 the live streaming of the Shaw Prize Press Conference is coming to an end. Thank you for watching and support.